today tutorial session we will see what is called the report builder still now we study about what is called the form builder the first time we are going what is called the report builder so the report builder we can see we can go like a report developer after report developer we click a report builder as usual we start oc4 instance so here it is a report builder which table we supposed to use here is nothing but I am using my product table the product table I have how many product only four products this table I will use a report the first report is called simple report how to create a, a simple report that's what today's should we use the simple report using the report builder so before starting a report builder like form builder you should initialize the start OCG4 and then we start whenever we are starting report builder this is the first screen report wizard or report manually or open a existing report we are using the report builder through report wizard like how we do block wizard the same way we are doing a report wizard I'll say report wizard and then I'm going ok after you are reading this is a welcome page will come this is a second page welcome to the wizard third page whether there is two type of layout will create in the report one is web based one is paper based so suppose we will web and paper based both then we create both or single only web or only web, uh, paper it is based on our options so I will create both then I will create next I will go here I want to give my report title suppose I am using product table I will give product information this is my um, this is my title of the things any style suppose I will use group above this style will come group above or group left whatever the, this format my information will come here in the table so group above I am giving I will go to the next one here I want to write the SQL query I will give ok SQL query so query builder I can use give the query builder now I will connect my database my connect my database here I can use whatever my thing I will use it here so I will my database now number of table available in the database will highlight so I want to select here go and select here it will come include click include then close it then I how many field I want here only two fields. so I am selecting two fields suppose it have 12 field or 14 fields I need only six fields so I can tick only that field so clicking this field I can select the field this is a second option I'll give ok automatically query will come what is the query select all product or product ID product or pro name from product then I'll go to the next one so I'll give what is a group field I want to create based on the product ID in a product ID is a single name it is not a major one group field so I'll give product ID is a group field then I can give display field both the field should be displayed for me so I will give the both the field so what is the maximum or minimum the total or some suppose I want to do total or count count means only one product ID ID based on the product ID nothing is there. here we don't use all this total or we don't want actually for it the sum of sum of product ID whatever it may be or maximum ID or minimum ID total count number of uh, thing product name based on that it will give so now I'll give ok now I'll give it which color you want green color or peach color or wine color gray color or blue color or some other ash color like that we can give it so now I'll give green color I'll give the ok then I'll finish now it will generate the report now it read the normal report you can see the normal report report wizard will come here. here also the name is called the object navigator here also the product ID and product name product ID product name product ID product names coming suppose I want to change some things here like a property palette it is called property inspector will come so suppose I want to change the uh, size or color or bold here I can go bold I can give uh, for example 18 this way I can change my font size or whatever it may be I can do it here I can give the font size information whatever it may be I can do it here this is the way I can do it here 
so this way I can give some other name instead of product name here also I can give as a product name pro name is my column name so in the report I don't want pro name I want to give product name so report should be the product name like that instead of pro ID I want to change as what product ID this also can do it instead of ID I can give product ID this way I can use the product ID this way I can use my information whatever the information I can give this here you can see product name product ID this way I can change the name how you save next question this is a displaying how you can do the format in the displaying we see suppose I want to make a zoom I can do the paper design or zoom or color whatever it may be, I can do it so now I can do this, this is called zoom. so whatever it may be we can do here I can go what is this actually this is called data model how my data model available what is a group field I give product ID that's what is coming product ID. product ID and display is product name suppose I want to see the query how I can see right click it go to property inspector I can see SQL query statement here click it automatically will come suppose I want to change the query I can change the query this and all possible so this is available where report builder object navigator here you can see this is a web page a where uh, web layout this is paper layout. I want to save I want to save by default it will come JSP dot JFC or RTF file JSP is come under file will come under the Internet Explorer that is web based suppose I want to save RTF format or DF format sorry or DF format it is so I can change I can save my thing is called report 1 report 1 in that name I can change and I can save in my name also report 1 format I can save it in the DF format this way I can save the report also this is a method I can save it for example now I saved I'll close I'll close the report what I want to do is I will open again I want to open the river. this I will open it will come how I will run here you can see the paper layout or paper now I can run this way I can run again it will come so run format it will come like that suppose I want to say paper layout suppose I want to run in the web page it will act as a web page it will come because I created the report in both the form page format and the report format so this way I can use the report format here but I stored what I am not stored in JSP I stored in the RTF format here this is a method I can use for the report builder here this is a method of one method of doing my report so that's all for the simple report creation in your RTF for, uh, in the creating the format so now what we see how to use the report builder and how to run the report how to save the report how to open the report how we can give the group above how we can give the in the report what is the data model of the report everything we are doing the simple report model that's all end of the